Hey, everybody, and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. It is episode 399, which means only one thing, and that is next episode, we are actually going to be leaving this area of the land, and we are going to be going over to the Misty Mountains to do some deeding. However, before we got that, we do have this Council of Stoke quest, which is similar, it seems, to the previous one uh, that we just did. So we have uh, Talk to Bauman, Grimmar, Dudzig, and Thane Ordlak and deliver a letter which is an extra thing on top of that but before we get into that we have our hobbit gift of the day let's have a look at what that is we shall see hopefully something good giant pile of copper scraps is is all right it's money in the end of the day nearly a gold um and as you can see i did um eventually reforge my weapon so that's all worked out quite nicely so let's go talk to these people as far as i'm aware they didn't seem well to have well quests mess, to give friend. us maybe some of them do but we will see how that goes what brings you to these lands so, Grimmar, Balmond, and Dudzig, and then deliver Reeve, uh, Frithrail's letter, letter to Alfbert. I don't know where that is. Also, I've just noticed we have enough bonus XP to actually level up today if we do things all correctly. So, hopefully that works out in our favor. Right, so let's have a quick look around. We've got these three. Okay, so it looks like um, Alpha isn't too far away. Like, he's actually within the area. I'm assuming out of all of them, Alpha, which is this guy here, is going to give us a quest because he just seems like if I'm delivering something to him, he might have something. Our mission is dire. Or not. I guess I was completely wrong. That's fine under my eyes. We'll see. Uh, I feel like this is getting very, very close to being finished. Um, so I'm interested to see where this does go. Because this seems like the kind of end of a quest. It just feels like the end of a quest line of sorts. Right, so once again, we're coming up here, going upstairs, talking to Balmond. Will you aid the horse lords? So we are grabbing all these people to go talk in the mead hall, it seems. So we just have Dudzig to go, who is not too far out. Luckily, he has come back from Ossily. So that's all nice and working out good so <laughs> yeah I, I wouldn't want to have to travel i mean it's easy but i wouldn't want to spend the money traveling back and forth from ossily constantly to get this guy so i'm glad he's back our mission is dire right so apparently he said he's got a lot of preparations uh but he will still come so we have to now go and join the council of stoke if i could get through there that would be nice so let's get on our war steed just to speed this up a little bit, and then we'll see where this leads us on to. Um, if, it, if worse comes to worse, there might be a chance that we, like, finish here today, which isn't a terribly a bad thing, but I just hope that it leads us on to a next quest chain, because uh, otherwise we're kind of lost for a little bit uh, during this. And I don't really want to have to start doing the epic quest again today, then next episode not, and then pick it up uh, an episode later after that on th uh, 401. Just feels a little bit weird if I do that, but we'll see. Right, so we're going to have to travel to this place, and uh, I guess we're going to hear a lot of people talking. That seems to be the case. At the prompting of her advisors, Reeve Frithild of the Broad Acres has summoned together a war council to determine how best to deal with the threat posed by the forces of the White Hand. Okay then, so it looks like we're going to be part of a war council, so uh, I assume we're going to have a lot of talking, so considering how many people there are, assuming all five, yeah, it looks like all five of them are here, I'm just going to kind of listen instead of trying to read it out, because I'm not going to be able to keep up, I can guarantee you, so we'll probably just do an F12 and uh, kind of just read along, but not read out loud. That is assuming they're talking, but I would think so, because it's a war council, so, you know. I don't know how long it'll last, but maybe I could keep up, maybe I can't. I just want to, don't want to risk it. I just jumped on a table. How very rude of me. I'm very sorry. Our mission is dire. Yeah, observe the Council of Stoke. So, we will do that. Let's take our floaty names off, um, because it will look more proper.
Okay, so it looks like that's all sorted. We've got a plan. The Reeve is going to be heading this plan. Or yeah, it's the Reeve, not Thane. Reeve. And um, we're working out contingencies in case anything goes wrong. So let's go back. Let us talk to Thrifrid. Thrifild. Can never say her name. What brings you to these lands? Okay, we, we need to get her armor, which is already prepared over here, it seems. How lovely. So we'll pick up both of these. Well, all of these. There's more than two. And then bring them to you. Hello, what here you are. Have you with the Rohirrim? Looking nice. Fourth, the Eolingus. Our mission is dire. Okay, so we're finished with our council, it seems, and we have a plan. Hopefully, it works. Okay, so the Council of Stoke has ended. We are now back over here. Bowman is also here. Um, he was not here previously. So you are now in your armor. It looks very nice on you. What brings you to these lands? It's been long since the shield maiden of Rohan has actually taken to the field. This is a glorious day. All that remains to be decided is which front to assail, for we are surrounded. Our success depends upon our strength. So bringing we comfort us. is our next quest. We will uh, see our weapon is leveled up, which is nice. Very, very good. So we need to go talk to Fr uh, Frithbert and Edhild, uh, who are... Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say they're the children. I don't know where they are. Are they up here, maybe? Where would they be? Oh, they're in uh, Thrifield's house east of the Mead Hall of Stoke. So that would sort of make sense. It's just because they were in here previously. So let's go over to there and talk to them. So where is it? It seems to be this house. That seems to work out. Because we had a guard outside, and it has, like... I mean, it's not unique, but it has this uh, banner outside. Nice little house here. Let's go talk to you two, see what's up. I'm afraid to go out at night. I will I will attempt to keep your mother safe. I'm afraid to go out at night. It seems both of you are. Um, I confess that I'm not as afraid, as afraid of my mother as my sister is. I am nearly a man in the Reckoning of the Mark. And I know that my mother is a great shield maiden. She will teach the Dunlending men, wild men, and their wizard that we will not be cowed easily. Please, I need your help. Okay. Um, collect us trophies of your fallen enemies. We are the children of a shield maiden who should have tokens to display in honor of her victories. Ah, oh, definitely gonna, gonna try and do that. It's whether or not she will do that is the question. So let's jump over here, sort of run back, talk to the Reeve and see what she says about that. Um, she'll, shall I be like, I assume either like, yeah, that's cool, I'll do that, or no, they should not have the burden of war. Something along those lines. We'll see where this ends us up. It seems like we are going to be going to war, so it seems that we won't be in Stoke for much longer. Our success depends upon our strength. Oh, so you Would bring Bowman's advice to Reef. She's right there. She's really she's right there. That is better armor. No, that's not actually better than what we have. Better armor. But we actually lose quite a bit of stuff, so I'll accept it. And I'll give your advice to her. I'm not necessarily going to use your armor. So right against the goblins. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to complete this gift for what children first. What business have you with the Rohirrim? So, what are we doing for these trophies? Oh, so that's just a quest we have in general. I guess, or maybe if we go outside we might be able to see what's up with that. I'm a little a little confused. Oh, so they do want us to pick up trophies from fallen enemies and then have the ride against goblins. Um, so part of me wants... I think we'll do that first and then ride against goblins we'll do in like 401 after we've done stuff in the Misty Mountains. Um, I think that might be an interesting way of doing it. But I want to see... 
how not easily but how common i guess the drops are more more to the point i want to see if um they will have to be different enemies whether or not i can do two half orc raiders or two half orc um archers so just if i kill another arch, uh, half orc archer is that going to give me this another thing or does it have to be a half orc raider uh, archer and then like a goblin spearman and stuff like that. I mean, in the end, it's not going to matter if we don't see any more. There's an archer. You seem to still apparently be able to... Whoa, I just realized. We, we just got three bits of trophy from that. Damn. Okay, so this is going to be a relatively easy kill. And then should... If this guy still drops stuff... Complete that. That That's perfect. Amazing. That's good. They, they dropped three each, so that that made my life a whole lot easier. I expected uh, more more time to uh, need to be put into that. So what we'll do is we'll bring the gifts for the children, and uh, then I think we'll be finished for the day, and then get started on episode number 400, which is going to take a little while, I think, because they generally do. They get longer and longer the further we get in. So we'll bring these up. I'm afraid to go out at night. There is so much to There we are, 135k for you. Part of me is actually tempted to do the other quest to level up to level 90. I think we might do it to level to level 90 because, well, that should be 135. We only need 73,000. So this should, I'm pretty sure, level us up. And I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. That was horrible. I apologize. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't made that sort of joke before. <laughs> Whilst being here for so long. Yeah, I think we'll do this one, see how long it lasts, and then that'll definitely be a good place to end, I think. So, uh, dispatch the water riders to the east. His plan has merit, though, already missed the point that they are the weaker foe as well, and thus more quickly dispatch. Indeed, if you're ready to ride down prepared as well, let's call our friends together and be off. Baldmund. Leader of the refugees from Torsbury, convinced Reeve Frithild that the first threat they should deal with are the warg riders in the east, which prevent the hunters of Stoke from provisioning the townsfolk for the coming siege. I already did a lot of that. Okay, so we need to talk to Reeve. She must uh, survive. Let's get on our war steed. Our war steed looks cooler than any of yours, I'm just saying. And talk to you eventually. I clicked on you. You're too far away. How are you too far away? There we are. What brings you to Defeat the Wall Riders. If they start attacking us, it might actually be more beneficial for us to... Um... Can we follow you? I don't think that works. No. I was gonna say, it might... I don't know if it would be more beneficial to... Um... I barely have any health either, so that's perfect. Um, I don't know if it's beneficial just to... You know, stay off our war steed attack, more damage. But it looks like we're doing a lot of running about. So I probably wouldn't be able to keep up. Plus there's like six of us. So, you know, we should be good in terms of damage. Oh, as I say that, three show up. I'll take this flanker. I'll flank him. I see a lot. Where is my lot? Oh, they, they've shut up. They have. They they are here. I'm so glad. I mean, she does have like 65k, so we should be good in terms of healing. These guys have a lot more health. I'm, suddenly, I've got a lot less. Uh, oh, there we are. Knew that was going to happen eventually. Should I just stay off my steed? Um... might be quicker especially with uh my arrow my barbed arrow because i can slow them down to a crawl pretty much and that is actually probably a good way of doing it and then if we move we can just move on to uh to our steed again all right steed I was going to say, though, we are getting seemingly, not so much now, but we seem to be getting a lot of purple drops, which was quite nice. Why are you all running over there if the Reeve is heading this way? We actually got a legendary weapon, which was quite nice as well. 
Yeah, why they all like run away? Not not the way to do this thing. I'm just gonna dismount again. That didn't work. Stop running away! No! Don't do this! <laughs> I'm stuck! Behind you! Oh, he's, he's, he's taking damage, it's fine. He's got a debuff. I'll oh, just take him out. There we are, I did it for you. I think for the most part though, I am going to try and stay on my steed, because as much as it's quicker for me to kill without my steed, I do have six or well, five others to help when they are here. I have a minimum of one, because uh, Thrifeld is always seemingly here, they always go after her. Um, but yeah, we, we can kind of keep up with them. If I could have a barbed arrow skill on here, that would be amazing. But if I get knocked off, I'm, I'm not going to fret too much. I'm just going to kind of follow after. And, and kind of hope. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at a disadvantage still because I'm very much not upgraded my war steed. I think we actually reforged. So I haven't actually got anything on my bridle either. So we're using full amount of power. Though our power seemingly isn't too bad if you look at our steed. So it's just a case of kind of keeping up, not trying to lose too much health, not have the lag that I seemingly am having. Oh, speaking of which. Right, come on. Take you out. There we are. We got a champion's club of the... Oh, I'm taking so much damage, I didn't even realize. I mean, I can keep up with that still, but it's a little frustrating. Oh, you are actually serious. I have to do that entire thing again. Well then, I guess I'm going to pause for a moment and uh, maybe sort out my steed a little bit because that's, um, that wasn't, I didn't go the way I wanted it to. I might need to eat some food as well. That might be a good idea. Either way, I'll uh, I'll see you, I guess, when we kind of get to that point, or complete the quest, I guess, would be a better way of doing it. Okay, never mind, it looks like I'm straight into it again. It's a case of, I think, the instance didn't reset, but I died and got taken out of the instance, which is a little bit frustrating, because I was about to eat some food. Um, so, if we can get out of battle, which we are currently still in... I just want to get one of these on. We are currently in combat with this thing, I take it. I guess it might be a case of like, if uh, Thrifold is in combat, then we are in combat. Damn it! What is this? War steeds, please don't. And the reason I realized I was actually in, still in like, the instance and stuff is because before I even clicked like, the go to instance thingy, uh, or travel now, I actually got like 1,176 experience for killing an enemy, which means this was still running in the background, I guess, somehow. But also not, I guess if I just did uh, damage over time, maybe it sorted something out, but... Either way, you know, we, we should hopefully be good now, we've not been lowered in health. As soon as we get out of this bit of combat, I'm also gonna down some food. Uh, which, again, we need to get better food. As soon as we hit level 90, though, I think it's then the better time, because... Ah, oh, Thrifold, you're actually, like, pretty damaged. I need to sort you out. I'm actually gonna get off my steed for this one, then. Probably the worst idea I've had. But it's gonna speed things up, I think. Because I can just sort of do 2k damage. Very easily. You are not... I'm not a fan. Right, a barbed arrow to you. And I'm gonna rapid fire you as much as I can. So we're not getting out of combat, and I take it this is probably one of the last things. Why do I always get lag during rapid fire? That is, that's just a waste of a skill then. Like, how am I supposed to kill something if I can't attack and their attacks stack on me? It's not, not the way it works, man. That also does bring up the point of I didn't get a chance to uh, to upgrade my war steed 
Because I kind of went straight back into it. Thinking, oh, I'll do it, like, whilst at the beginning. Because we had that whole thing where it's like, you're talking. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it then. But no. He's mainly after me because I've done the most damage. I'm the highest threat to him. If I can just sort of stave off his attacks for a little while, just doing a lot of damage though. Like, I think I just did 6k damage. Because Barrage 3 is probably in play, which is good. So I'm, I'm going to be low on power, but I'm not low on health, which is good. And this should be our last hit. There we are, finally. We have one more enemy still somewhere. Here he is. So hopefully that's all fine. We also got some burglar's tools. So that's three legendary items picked up today. None of them are useful. I, I say that last episode we did get a level 89 hunter's sword, which we have now got on us. But it's not the most useful thing because we haven't upgraded it fully. Right. The war riders are defeated. We are so close to leveling up. Look at that XP. We are 28,000 XP away. We'll probably use up the remaining of our bonus XP because we've only got about 123k of that left. So I'm taking that we will probably use that up, which I'm, I'm pretty happy about. I think that's the best way of doing it. So how can I talk to you when you're not stopping? I'm faster than you apparently as well because I swear I'm catching up. Yeah, see? Right, if I... I'm just kind of following you now. My horse is inside your face. So... Ah, it looks like... Yeah, Grimmar seems to not be having the greatest of times. Uh, and neither does Thrifield. Because she can't make her mind up. There we are. Will you aid the horse lords? Right, yeah, there we are. Finishing up that. We'll probably have a bit of lag because of leveling up. But we'll be level 90 and I can get a new bow as well, which is pretty nice. Oh, uh, not quite. You've helped the Reeve against the Wall Riders in the east. Let's go talk to her. We'll level up, as I said. We'll get a level 90 weapon melded up, I think. Might be a good way of doing it. And then uh, we'll uh, start what working on that. So we've got this armor, which isn't as good again. So we won't worry too much. A dreary, untidy mess. Level 95 quest. Search for some signs of survivors outside Isengard. And then we have this quest here. Will need your aid. So that is Brigands in the Wild. That is a, another quest. So what it seems like is we've done that, which has completed kind of everything around here. And now that we are level... Oh, or it might be... No, it'll be level... Is it because we're level 90? It's a level 95 quest. I'm not sure. I, I guess it's a five level difference. So you can't do something that's over five levels above you. So that might be it. But it's moving us on to... Uh, stuff outside Isengard. We won't worry about that too much for the moment. We will uh, put that there. But for now, we are level 90 now, so we will uh, we will do that one, I think, in 401. We will now go quickly to the legendary item people, and we will uh, go grab ourselves a melded level 90 sword, or I guess we can get a level 90 sword and a level 90 bow. More specifically, a level 90 bow because we're currently still rocking an 85, I think. Um, yeah, which we, we'll be able to see, like, the, the scaling, which will be kind of insane. So it'll be Relic Combination, I think, is melding. Welcome and well met, Yeah, it is. Friend. So we want to go down all the way over to here. Unidentified items. And then scroll down uh, to this one. So you'll be able to see this. Actually, kind of a cool-looking icon. There we are. 331 to 602 damage compared to uh, this, which is 235 to 426, which... That... Did I... Have I not... No, I have. I seem to have not increased my damage much on that. So that's going to be 2,000 shards. We'll do that one. So we will make that. We now have a new bow. We also can get a new sword, which is going to be a little bit like, again, we've got nothing extra on this sword yet, on the level 89 sword. So that level 91 um, does still increase damage by a little bit. Not the most, but a little bit. So we'll also mill that one up. And then I'm just going to do work in between episodes. Um, 
definitely before four um well definitely before four four oh one but most likely before four uh episode four hundred which is next episode so tune in for that one uh where we will uh just i'll get the current sword level uh sixty deconstruct it then i will uh yeah do do that deconstruct it then i will you know equip these two and get them to level 60 because we have these which should take them near enough to level 60 plus i'll do a few instances of uh halls of crafting just to get a bunch of stuff and i've got a lot of tokens of um lothlorien so that will also work out in our favor so just quickly everything in here we can get rid of unless this western thingy we can get there we are so we'll get rid of what we have in our inventory and we also have a few stuff legendary item wise which we'll worry about later but that's gonna be it for now though thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed tune in next time for episode 400 where we're going to be deeding in the misty mountains so that should be an interesting time i've got to work out what quest i'm gonna do i have my deeding map already as well though so that should hopefully go pretty smoothly and hopefully this time unlike last time i don't run out of hard drive space which that episode was a long one hopefully it doesn't happen again <laughs> That'll be interesting to see, but nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.